Hi, I'm Joel here in Tamil Nadu, South India with the Sunjack portable solar recharger. I think this might be the first Sunjack in the entire country of India, but I can't be sure. It's small and portable. It folds out. You can hang it somewhere. And in five hours of direct sunlight, it will charge about four phones or a tablet or a battery like this. And this battery uh, can uh, power two 40 watt light bulbs. They're LED light bulbs for 15 hours. I was hoping to get some photos using the Sunjack in a home with no electricity because 300 million people in India don't have electricity. Uh, but here, here in Tamil Nadu, it's pretty well electrified. It's, but there are some remote villages, mostly in the north and in the east, where electricity is hard to come by. Although, uh, over half of the people in rural areas have access to cell phones, and so charging cell phones could be a challenge. In later conversations, I was able to verify that rural villages, like this one in Andhra Pradesh, do not have consistent electricity. Many homes in this village lack electricity. Sunjack solar charges would make it possible to achieve energy independence with respect to charging cell phones and providing interior lighting. Cell phones are an important part of the infrastructure of rural India. Over 70% of the 1.3 billion people in India live in rural areas, but over half of rural Indians have access to cell phones, although electricity to charge cell phones is unreliable. Cell phones are particularly important to rural India because telehealth and mobile health solutions could help extend healthcare efforts to remote villages, but reliable charging of cell phones can be a barrier. Solar-powered indoor lighting is also valuable because kerosene for lamps cost money. Two LED lights could be powered by the Sunjack battery for 15 hours to provide light for studying, cooking, and other indoor activities after dark. Also, 90% of rural households in India cook over solid fuels like wood. This is often indoors and greatly contributes to risk of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, which is one of the top causes of mortality in India. Interior lighting, combined with moving the cooking fire outside, as this woman has done, would greatly reduce exposure to indoor air pollution and could improve the public health of rural Indians. I left the Sunjack portable solar charger, three batteries, and three LED light bulbs in India with a non-governmental organization with whom I was working. I was assured that their community development efforts include some remote areas and that they would be able to get some photographs of the Sunjack in use in those areas. Now I understand that rural Indians cannot afford to purchase a portable solar charger. But my hope is that in publicizing the potential of the Sunjack portable solar charger, interested parties may consider ways to make solar power available to a part of the world where it is needed. Thank you. I'm not affiliated in any way with Sunjack or their parent company, Gigawatt Incorporated. I'd like to acknowledge philanthropist Mr. Giltner of St. Vincent de Paul Catholic Charity in Akron, Ohio, my friend Rich who introduced me to Mr. Giltner, and India Gospel League of Salem, Tamil Nadu, India.